what is about the audition process that scares actors and how do you make them feel comfortable or do you not even try? Do you try to make them feel comfortable? Because I've been, some cast members will be like, go. <laughs> <laughs> And you feel like you hate them, so you're already off your game. You're done. I think I'm nice go right now. That's so funny. Yeah. I think I'm nice in the room. I people tell me all the time, "Oh my God, I was so nervous with you. you made me. You never smiled." And I'm like, I have the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> but I do have a poker face. I really do. I know it's tough. You do. So I try to create. I, I do. Yep. You can't tell if Robbie is mad or happy no. or sad. She does have, she's just like. Yep, scary. And I feel like I'm doing so much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> she's, yep, she's Robbie. Yep, you're intimidated just because of the name for the most part. You're intimidated just because of the name. And then you get into the mo you get into the room and you realize, the first thing I'm like, okay, let's just breathe. Let's just all take a deep collective breath because, and let it out. Cause you're in here, you're in here for a reason. Take your moment. Enjoy it. Right. So, so what are some do's and don'ts for actors coming into the room to audition for you? They don't, they're, they're freaking out. They're like, oh my God, I can't be believe I'm here. I'm auditioning. I'm here with Twinkie Bird. I'm here with Robbie Reed. They know your credits because they, they know. And they know, they think that this can really change your life. And it could. So what are some do's and don'ts for the actors? Go for it, Robbie. Um, first of all, be prepared. You know, be prepared if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. And um, just know what you're doing. I don't feel like you need to be off book, but know the material. And, you know, get in and get out. It's not the time to make small talk, you know, or, you know, the sit, to have a seat. I've had actors come in and have a seat, you know, after they finish auditioning. I'm like, that's not the time for it. <laughs> oh, God. They had a seat? Oh, God. So no, how's it been going? I'm happy, full of people. I'm like, are you serious right now? I could imagine the the ass kissing has to be on level one thousand with both of you. Like, if I'm th like thinking that that's gonna get them the gig. People have mis misplaced expectations. I think that's a very nice way to say it. Yes, it is. Be prepared, and and if you don't get the job, there is one for you. Am I freezing? If no. You don't out, there's one for you. Is. Good job because, right, Twinkie, we remember. We bring you back. There's something else. That's the whole point. You know, reading comprehension is a huge thing. And people think, well, I don't have to read to be an actor. And that's a huge mistake. Yeah. Because I had an actor who was a series regular on a show, big show too, came into my Being Mary Jane audition doing half hour acting for my one hour drama. He said, I thought this was a half hour. We at BET, this is a black network. Y'all ain't gonna do no one hour drum. I was like, what? Well, this is the ground floor of groundbreaking, honey. This is a one hour drum. You don't know the difference between how a one hour drama is typed and how a half hour is typed. Like those are the things that people literally not, are not paying attention to. Yeah. And comprehending the whole scene, comprehend the scene so that you understand what's happening. If you look at the scene, you realize that's a dramatic scene that you just turned into a comedy, which is great, by the way. That's awesome. But can you do it in a dramatic fashion? How do y'all keep a straight face when the audition is a complete disaster? Have you tried to like, have you, have you like burst out laughing or have you ever? I excuse myself to the ladies room. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie's like, I did too. I did. I mean, it just, we're human beings, you know, and there are just times when you are so, it's so unbelievably <laughs> wrong. We'll just say wrong, you know, funny when it's not supposed to be. And then if there are people in the room that are feeling the same way, you can't look at them. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Has anyone ridiculous. ever done that with y'all? Like the name that like redeemed themselves who's now maybe because you can start off with a bad audition and come back and be good. Always. Yeah, it happens all the time. Of course. We like, always do we get better. Who Twinkie? Give me a name. Be messy. Messy. You huh? try to be messy. You try to be messy, Claudia. I ain't got nothing else to do. We on quarantine. <laughs> come on, quarantine. There's so many. So yes. many. Yikes. Give us a hint. I can't. Yeah. 
they're nice people. They just had a moment. But oh, I mean, stop it. Have the same <laughs> moment. Seriously, like I taking meetings as a casting director with uh, directors and producers, having to take a meeting with them is almost can almost be as daunting as auditioning for a casting director. So I've been in those positions, yes. and 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 so I can't get like. You know, I'm, I don't burst out. There's no guffaw. There's just like, oh, okay. Let me find out what I can take from this and how I can give a note. And if a note will be taken, if a note won't be taken, then let me say nothing. Right. 